probably about a week ago, and I just started breaking my hands a little differently, and and it, it really helped me a lot. So I was able to just um, kind of clean up my delivery a little bit, and I just uh, owe a lot of it to Dan because just uh, his time and effort that he's put into it. Um, I feel like today is like was the best I've ever felt in terms of pitching ever, and uh, I mean. I'm really excited at the way I finished up the season, although it's unfortunate the way that I couldn't compete throughout the the, the regular season, but uh, I feel like it's pretty good to end on a high note. What, what you worked with Dan, with, did that help your command? Did it help your the break on your pitches? What, what it was just with? really commands. Um, it, it kind of blows my mind just how simple, like uh, the way I was breaking my hands, um, just to give you like an illustration or an idea, like I was breaking my hands kind of like this, and now I'm breaking them like that, and it's just kind of, kept me in line and uh, I'm able to just really pick up my leg, do my handbrake, uh, push off the rubber and try to uh, exhibit as much force as I possibly can and the next thing you know the, the ball is exactly where I want it. So uh, yeah, it was uh, today was a lot of fun, it was easy, um, I wish we had another month of baseball left but uh, it doesn't work out like that. So. Sir. Sir, no, what is what's your reaction to Terry Collins stepping aside? Uh, you know, I think uh, I think Terry Collins is the hardest job, as um, second to the, being the president of the United States. Um, uh, I think it's kind of unfair for what Terry and Dan are, are going through, just because I know I'm the kind of guy that if I have a problem with with somebody, I'm not going to talk behind their back. I'm going to go up and, and, and talk to them face to face and, and get it resolved. And um, I mean, from my understanding, his office has always been been open. Um, but uh, uh, you know, like as from a, like a manager standpoint, like starting pitchers really don't have that kind of relationship as a manager as most guys, like position players or bullpen guys have. But I mean, uh, he was my first manager when I got called up when I was rookie season. First manager I had when we went to the World Series, and the manager that we had when we went to the Wild Card game last year. So there's uh, there's a lot of emotion that is uh, attached to that, and uh, it's 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 sad to see. So uh, I mean, I'm. I'm kind of hurting for him because I know that this is a, a huge part of his game and being a, a Met and being in the Mets family was really important to him. So uh, it's kind of like a, I mean, bittersweet moment right now. The season's over. We get to go home, but at the same time, it's like, uh, you know, what does the offseason have in store? Would you have liked to see him come back? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that would be, like, a, a good idea. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to make those decisions. It's not really up to me. Um, but as far as like uh, like our pitching coach situation goes, like I think it's pretty much shit what's going on. It's just like he's taking the blame for all the injuries that have happened this year, and uh, I think they're looking in the wrong direction. Um, but for me, I think if, if Dan's not back next year, then um, what does that say? Because I'm I'm right here saying like, in my opinion, I think he is what's best for our pitching staff, and I want him to be my pitching coach for the the remainder of my career. What direction should they be pointing the fingers in then? Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure, to be honest. What is the level um, of, I mean, those comments, how, how open have you been with the organization about your feelings on this? Um, yeah, I mean, we ha I got a good relationship with Sandy, so um, I know he's always open to talk and, and, and hear us out. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's not really my decision. I can only have an opinion on the matter and, and, and try to give as much insight as possible as I possibly can. So, Travis, what was your reaction when Terry told you guys he was stepping aside? Uh, it's a tough, uh, tough thing to hear for some experience. You know, um, ever since I've been in the big leagues, he's been my manager. Um, he's uh, done nothing but great things for me, and uh, you know we've had uh, two hell of a seasons together, uh, making it all the way to the World Series, which. I still can't believe that happened. You know what a crazy run, and, and even last year making it back to the postseason was was incredible. And um, even through the thick and thin of last year, the struggles I had, he stuck stuck by my side. And, and same thing in 2014 when I uh, struggled to start. Um, you know, he called me in this office and gave me a really big heart to heart, and, and I came back and, and became the player that I was. How did he tell you guys? How did he break the news? Um, did anyone else say? I don't know if I'm. Sir, it said that he spoke to you. Yeah, he just he just spoke to us. You know, I'd, I'd like to keep that between us more than anything. There's going to be so much change from manager to coaches to even players next year. Just uh, what do you think about that? Just the prospect of 
mean, being even more different than our um, It's one of those things where I don't have any control over it. Um, you know, I've made a lot of friends this year um, throughout the coaching staff and the players, so um, they'll be close at heart with me, and, and I'll make sure I keep in touch with, with everybody. Travis, is it jarring in any way when you've been in the league for a few years and for the most part things have been pretty consistent to now obviously have a year like this and, and the fallout begins now and just so much uncertainty that goes along with it? I'm sorry? Is it jarring at all to have an offseason going into an offseason where there's just so much uncertainty after a year like this? Um, yeah, you know, it's the first time that, sorry again, I've experienced this. Uh, so it'll be... An interesting off season. Um, like I said, I will keep in touch with everybody who I played with this year, though. Um, even the guys who left earlier on. Um, everybody's been an amazing person and, and has made it enjoyable to show up every day. So that's how I'm gonna look at it.